I named it Burbo Me Newman. I pup a poke. His name is Virgil Newman. He's 64 years old and he suffered a stroke in 2007. Paralyze me on the right side. When he had the stroke, he lost control of his entire right side, including his speech and part of his memory and stuff. Um, he didn't have use of any part of his arm or leg at first. He's since regained use of his leg. I think that now it's been nine years since he had the stroke and he has gotten used to this whole new way of life. I think just having limited use of it would be a huge help for him. I first saw Virgil in April of 2016 for the spasticity as well as some other uh, post-stroke issues. Um, at that time, I identified that he was a candidate for Botox given the spasticity. I identified in Virgil that he was someone I thought would would follow through with all of the therapy recommendations that would be presented after the Botox. When Virgil first presented, he was holding his, his arm and hand in a typical post-stroke spasticity uh, orientation where his, his fingers were flexed and it was very difficult to get those to open up. So you can imagine that's not gonna be a very functional hand. And then he has a lot of he has a lot of trouble lifting the arm, a lot of trouble getting it straight. So that's kind of the typical pattern that we see, and he was exhibiting that on the, the first visit, which was quite uh, severe. We're gonna head back. There's a chair back here. The most effective way to use Botox is teaming it up with physical therapy. That's why I think Virgil has done so well. Even though he had 10 years of spasticity against him, he was so diligent to work with and listen to and follow through with the things that physical therapists wanted him to do. Oh, look at that. Ball, uh-huh, uh, 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 little ball and big ball. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> he uses a small ball for uh -huh. exercise to help get his hands around it mm -hmm. and help move the wrist. He uses a large like yoga ball um, to stretch his hands out on flat mm -hmm. and then push off of to help uh, strengthen the arm uh, and the bicep yeah. area. Uh -huh. It's all a huge improvement. Uh, he can even bend his wrist back now mm -hmm. where before it would it was maybe a half a I mean it, it wouldn't really move without being forced. That's all really good signs that the first treatment has done a good job. Virgil to date has had four rounds of injections separated every 12 weeks. He has done remarkably well, especially he had the you know, 10 years of spasticity time in, uh, before he was even injected. And he, he's really, um, surpassed my expectations thus far and when he comes in for subsequent rounds of injections we're making adjustments to dosing and things but he's telling me all the things that he's able to do now um, which is pretty remarkable and I think a lot of that has to do with his ability to follow through his desire to get better and he diligently works out at home and does the things that physical therapy and occupational therapy uh, demonstrate to him. Just to be able to have use of it again oh, is man a great goal in itself mm -hmm. to be able to hold it up or mm -hmm. shake a hand or hold a cup that's, that's why I work working that's why he works it so hard because Thank he sees you. the progress if we can get these little things better I think Virgil's prognosis is he's going to continue to get improvement in function on that side I think we're going to continue with further injections and continuing with physical therapy to have less spasticity, less pain. He's already, after the last round of injections, 
Uh, I injected some shoulder and chest muscles, and this is the first time he's been able to lift his arm over his head. So I see Virgil and his attitude and the way he's responded so far to continue to improve. He said that in one year, his goal is to be able to shake Dr. Kosa's hand Thank with you. that right uh -huh. arm. Thank you. Uh -huh. I don't want to make that. Uh -huh. He's going to make it. Go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Very good. He's just grateful to be able to, oh, to move it again. Oh, oh.